Hello, hello, hello. What have we got here? Ah. This is my new ride. 2017 Chevrolet Spark. Oh, damn finger. I raised all the dash cam on it. <laughs> Let's go inside. And sadly about this, it's gonna come with this key fob. It's basic, and I'll tell you why it's basic. <sighs> Pretty roomy. And I'll tell you why it's basic. Had a manual to adjust the mirrors. And I had a manual open the windows. So it's basic. So. Oh crap. <laughs> so right now it has 167 miles. I got it when it's like has 35 miles to it. And that chime you heard at the dash cam coming on. It's not like the Pontiac where it stays on, it just turns on when the car's on. That's the only downside about it. And there's the back. Okay, here's this radio I like about. Here, I'll show you. Let me turn this up a little bit. Now I'm gonna wait for the Bluetooth kit again. And if it kicks in, it takes a while to kick in. Oh, it's kicking in already. Now, instead of having a phone and an auxiliary jack like I did on a Pontiac, it's Bluetooth, and this is the phone I'm using. My old phone. And I'll just put it there. Let's turn this down so I can talk to you guys. And it's automatic, sadly. I don't know how to drive a stick very well. And there's the e-brake. There's the tissue. Why is there a tissue? This trunk, then not the trunk, the glove bug is smaller than in Pontiac. Ugh. I got on state, oh, on state, oh, whatever that thing is. I got these. Oh, hi. I got this. Ooh. Sounds like there's no one. Oh, and backseat, so. Alright, start her up. Woohoo. Yeah, it says I got a low pressure tire on a two back tires. That's all good. And I use, then I press this button to change it. See? Now it's telling me I have 94 miles until I go empty. And this is the gas gauge. It's just not. One of those thingies is a those, so I got that much of gas. I may need to put it in before I go to work tomorrow. So, of course, you know, this not a lot of people use these bloody things, but that's what I call the turn signals. And then there's another menu, what menu is that telling you that pressure? And then see if I turn this wheel, see, it does that. I mean, the time, I really don't need it. Never tell me to do that. See? It tells me what each car or each tire has the pressure. So I need to put these two. But now I might have to do four. Yeah. Yuck. Okay, turn it back to what I wanted. No. 
can barely see the hood on this. I got daytime running lights. That's over here. I got also traction control. And this is that. They'll turn this off. You see that green? And turn that back on. It's audio. It's auto. Yeah, but it's daytime running lights. And I like about this thing. Watch. If I put it down. Oh, you can't see it on the phone. But I can see it. It just went dim. Okay. And I like this horn. I like the Pontiac horn better than this horn. This horn. I don't know. My husband said it sounded like one of those clown horns. And he laughs every time I use it. So turn her off. Yeah, watch. watch. <laughs> it's a lot louder than the Pontiac. I'll give it that. But I don't like the horn. I really don't like the horn. The horn sucks. Okay, so I'm just going to put the hazard lights on. I'll let you guys see what it looks like. Bing, bing. Oh, yeah, the Pontiac doesn't do that because, like, whoever installed the radio before me kind of fucked up the audio. So everything in there, they can't hear the door chime or the turn signals. But now you'll be able to know that I'm using my turn signal, so... Oh, what's that there? Oh, is that the backup camera? Yep, yeah, I got a backup camera now. <laughs> Pretty. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, turn you off. All right. Well. That is a quick tour of my brand new 2017 Chevrolet Spark. I hope you guys enjoy this quick tour. And hopefully this will be in a future of Bad Driver videos. Alright, see you guys later. Uh, see you guys later. God damn it. Bye!